the band. I'm Shorty. I play guitar and uh, sing in Voodoo Swing. Over here is uh, Wesley Hinshaw, plays uh, Doghouse Bass Fiddle. And over there. Uh, over there. And this is Leroy Nelson, our drummer. How long have you guys been together as a band now? Well, Leroy and I started this band in 1991. <laughs> so it's been a long time, but we had uh, we played from 91 to 97. Released a couple of albums in the 90s on European labels. Had, had some success and and personal issues forced us to kind of do some different things. And then in, uh, what, 2008, we started playing together again. When we got back together, we uh, saw a young prodigy playing with other bands locally and uh, kind of made a, a natural decision to ask the best upright bass player in town. And that's when we picked up Wes. The 69 Lincoln Continental we tour in. Oh, man, start the car. If they... Would it start right up first time if you, uh, well, you want maybe. to have that on video? Just what you said, we've just finished most of the tracks and we're super happy with it. Um, we got a lot of great stuff going on with you know a new label and, and uh, you know great promoters. It was a good time to put an album out. So we're doing Electric Lotus label right now and we've got some new tours coming up. So we're pretty excited about that. And our new album is called Keep On Rolling, and it's going to be out May 7th, 2011. And uh, we're going to be touring the Rocky Mountain States in March. We're going to be over in Europe all summer. Look for it. We're going to be on the road selling it. We're going to be all over the place. So uh, come see a live show. Get yourself a CD and uh, put on your dancing shoes. Have a great time with it. Enjoy. So we got some really nice guest people on this. Over on my left is uh, Wyatt Maxwell, who actually plays with uh, Wayne Hancock. But he flew out to uh, play on a couple tracks on our new record, so we're pretty thrilled to have him out here. And back behind the board, there is Vindy, and she's uh, singing on a couple of the songs. Way down in Texas, where everything's fine. All the cats have been standing in line. Wait for some little make you fine. It's hip cat music from a real long time. Move on down to good old San Jose, where those cats have got something to say. They 
This, actually for the whole album, if I can get up and grab this, this is a, this is a, this is what I use for this album, and it's, man, I couldn't, I, I couldn't be more pleased. It's a 55, well, it's not a real 55, but a reproduction 55, Chet Atkins solid body with Dynasonics, and um, man, and White, and White played a White Falcon, and um, they both just, uh, at least they, they just play and sound great, and they just, man, they made this album, they're so diverse, and there's so many different things, so many sounds you can get, I was playing multiple guitars before, and you know, I started playing Gretsch guitars, and then it was like, I can get twang, I can get blues, I can get jazz, I can get rockabilly, so it's just kind of become the only guitar I play now, rather than having like three behind me, I can get pretty much any sound I want um, out of this guitar, and I, I have another Gretsch guitar that I play, and I've never had any problems sounding the way I want to sound, so I'm super happy with them, and like I said, White's been playing him. This is what he plays his White Falcon on this album. So, um, you know, just killer, killer guitars. The right tool for the job, for sure. Tell me a little bit about your sound. The broad term yeah, is rockabilly. We don't quite play traditional rockabilly. We play our own version of it. And uh, we pop it up a little bit. We like to refer to it as rip it up rockabilly, or tear it up rockabilly. And you know, we, we like to play from a from a position of uh, you know, loud and strong. So a lot more power goes into it than, than traditional 50s original rock Yeah, because I, I, I'm definitely in the like, psychobilly type stuff, so I like playing rockabilly, but adding a little bit different kind of gives it a little bit different sound. And then, yeah, and then, you know, I'm, I really like a lot of, a lot of blues. Yeah, you know, my favorite guitar player is Dave Gonzalez. You know, and I, those, those are the guys that I really like. But then we put it all together, you know, with kind of a rockabilly backbeat and, and kind of with that in mind. And, and hopefully it turns out as something unique, something that doesn't sound like everybody else. So now that's that's the goal anyways, is to have our own sound and, and you know... This is the 69 Lincoln Continental we tour in. Uh, we're going to be, uh, we sing about this, uh, we sing about this car on our next record. Man, that's terrible. <laughs> Anyways. Sorry. <laughs> it took 20 <laughs> seconds to <laughs> suck it up. Just say, <laughs> 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 to say a sentence. 